Hi guys, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory and in this video we are going to talk about directory extension attributes that can be configured with Azure AD Connect. Now the core agenda of this video will be knowing what is directory extension attributes and for my demo what I have done is I have created a custom attribute and I have named it as concepts work employee type that I will be syncing to Azure Active Directory. Now the question comes once these directory extension attributes are synced to Azure Active Directory whether you can query them with graph or PowerShell or not and how to query them okay but there is a certain level of understanding which you should have and uh, that's moreover related to synchronization rule editor because we know that for every attribute there is a mapping which is defined once you install AAD Connect okay so we know the purpose of Azure AD Connect is to sync all the objects from on-prem directory to Azure Active Directory but what we also know that there is a predefined schema that exists in Active Directory for all the object types. Now, depending upon our requirement, we extend these schemas so that new attributes are getting populated, right? Now, what happens with that new attributes? Let's say you have a requirement wherein you want to sync a particular attribute that has been extended recently or that has been added recently or there is a very specific requirement which I will try to showcase in my AD that I have created a custom attribute and I have named it as concepts work employee type and I have mapped that to my user class in Active Directory schema editor so what I will be doing now that once I will go to user object and I will click on attribute editor there will be an attribute named as concepts work employee type and I will be syncing that to Azure Active Directory but the question comes how exactly this is going to happen right now let's understand this process from service perspective so what we know that when we install AD Connect there are inbound and outbound rules which are created wherein the attribute flow mapping is defined now think about the scenario wherein you have created a custom attribute but as of now there is no change which has been done to AAD Connect so in this case AAD Connect will have no reference for this particular attribute and this attribute will not be synced to Azure Active Directory so what we have to do is we have to enable directory extension attribute feature on Azure AD Connect and we have to select this particular attribute to be synced to Azure Active Directory and what will happen under the hood a new rule will be created for this particular attribute so that the value of this attribute should be synced to Azure Active Directory now since everything has to be done on Azure AD Connect server so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my machine where I have installed Azure AD Connect and here we will be doing all the configuration now before I go ahead and create or configure directory extension feature what I would like to show you guys is how that particular attribute is as of now getting listed so if I'll go to my users and computers and if I'll try to navigate any of the user object let's say enter and if I go to attribute editor and then if I'll go to concepts work employee type as you can see this is the custom attribute which I have created and which is getting listed for my user object now my goal is to sync this particular attribute as an extension attribute to Azure AD now before I show you the configuration there is one more thing which I would like to verify and that is as of now there is no rule which exists or that should send this particular attribute so if you will try to search the user object you will not find that attribute getting listed over here so as you can see I am not getting any attribute which is named as concepts work employee type but once we are done with the configuration there will be an extension attribute getting listed in the metaverse and that will send the value from on-prem 80 
to Azure Active Directory. Now, since this is a change which you have to do from the configuration wizard, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close AD Connect and now I'm going to close Active Directory. I'll minimize this and now I will open configuration wizard. Now, I'm not going to make any other change apart from enabling directory extension attribute. So this is the first console that you will get and now you can click on configure. Now this is the option that you have to select which says customize synchronization option and then click on next. Here type in your global admin credential and then click on next. So as this is my directory which is already added so I'm not going to make any change and I'll click on next. No change in OU filtering and this is the option that you have to select which is directory extension attribute sync. Now click on next and from this console you can select all the extended attributes that you want to sync to Azure Active Directory. Now as I've said before that this is the same console which will be used for custom attributes as well as extended attributes. So as you can see that Apart from the attributes which are getting synced by default or let's say out of the box experience, there is a whole list of attributes for different objects that can be selected from here and that can be synced to Azure Active Directory. But in our case, we will be syncing the custom attribute that we have created and now I will click on this particular arrow. Now before I configure this and I just complete this wizard there is one more very important information which I would like to show you guys and that is if you guys remember I was talking about synchronization rules that will get created for every attribute mapping okay so just pay close attention to this particular section wherein as of now we don't have any rule that says directory extension so if you want to get very precise information, you can also choose connectors. So as of now, you can see that there is no rule which is getting listed here or which is named as directory extension. But what will happen the moment we will configure directory extension setting from this particular console, there will be a new rule created here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on next and then in the next console here it will if it is showing any warning here then you can enter your domain admin credential again this is a console from where you enable SSO for me it is already enabled that's why you see a green tick and now I will click on next there is one more prompt which I will get wherein the AAD connect setup will ask me to run the synchronization process but before I do this to get better result, let's prepare our environment. So since we know that null valued attributes are not synced and they are not visible in Metaverse, so what I'll do is I'll choose two of my employees or two of my users, let's say enter and I'll go to my attribute which I have created and let's say this is a full-time employee whereas IDP is a contractor. Okay, so for this user, I'm going to populate this value as contractor. Okay, now what I'll do is if now we will initiate the sync, what will happen? These values will be queried and it will be available or it will be shown in the metaverse. So what I'll do is I'll click on configure so that the sync gets started. It will take a couple of minutes. So I'll pause the video and I'll resume once the sync is completed. So now the sync process is completed and I'm going to click on exit. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh this console and let's see whether we get any new rule listed here or not. And as you can see, there is a new rule now which is created and which is named as in from AD user directory extension. And now if I'll click on export, I will get the attribute mapping, which says that on-prem attribute concepts work employee type should be synced as an extension attribute. 
okay so now in order to see how this value will be synced let's launch the aad connect tool and let's go to metaverse click on search select the same user object and as you can see i'm getting this value which is extension concepts work employee type and the value is FTE which was not the case before if I want to check the same value for IDP I'll get contractor over here and as you can see this is the value which is as of now being sent and the rule which is responsible for this is in from AD user directory extension the same rule which we accessed from here so now the next step is to go ahead and check whether the appropriate values are accessible from graph or not so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my browser where I have signed in in Microsoft graph and as you can see this was my previous query that I sent and there was no extension attributes getting listed over here this is a section where you will get the extension attributes but now if I'll do run query I should get the extension attributes getting listed here and as you can see concepts work employee type shows contractor for the user which is IDP similarly if I do this for enter I should get FTE mentioned in this particular attribute value and as you can see the same set of information is getting mentioned here now the last thing which is left is to check this value from PowerShell and for that you need the preview version of Azure 80 module as of now what I'm doing is I'm copying the object ID of my user and now I'll go to PowerShell and here I'm going to type get hyphen Azure 80 user and then I'm going to type object ID and the moment we'll format list we'll get all the attributes but there is one thing which you have to pay attention and that is all the customization that we have done is a part of extension property okay now what I'll do is I'll specifically query extension property and let's see what all we get extension property enter as you can see we are getting this particular attribute value which is concepts work employee type and it shows FTE so this was all about knowing how the directory extension feature works what all settings you have to do in order to sync attributes from your on-prem environment to Azure Active Directory but now let's say you want to know how to include these claims in ID token please feel free to join the membership on our channel where we are posting the advanced skill set required for Azure AD configuration and there is a video wherein I have specifically covered how to enable extension attributes or how to include extension attributes in the ID token which Azure AD is showing so let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed we have discussed about directory extension attributes we have discussed about custom created attribute to be synced to Azure Active Directory and how to view this information from graph and PowerShell if you have learned something new please feel free to subscribe or if you think our channel is helping you to learn more please feel free to share this with your technical community thank you so much thanks for your time